What is going on everyone? It is Mike. Welcome back to Tech 24 7 TV. It is great to have you back here. Now, whether you are brand new to the iPad 8th generation or you're a current owner of maybe a 7th generation or even previous models, having great accessories to go along with your tablet of choice really goes a long way to improve your experience. Now, if you're new here, I love the iPad. It is incredibly portable, coming in at 10.2 inches, and the fact that it has Apple's latest A12 processor makes the iPad very powerful all for the low cost of $329. I feel that price and functionality are gonna be hard to beat. Now, if you're looking for accessories, maybe you want to use your iPad to binge content, or perhaps you wanna take your time and level up your productivity game to that next level. You are in the right place because in today's video, right here, this is what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna show you all of my favorite accessories for the 10.2 inch iPad from Apple. Let's get started. Welcome back to Tech 24 7 TV, where we bring you the best in unboxing and product reviews so you can make informed buying decisions. Here on this channel, we analyze the various bits and bytes that transcend technology only to find their way into your pocket. Now, if you like product review videos just like the one that you're watching for the 10.2 inch iPad, make sure that you click subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be alerted when that new content drops because I have accessory videos coming for the iPad Air 4, the new iPhone 12, as well as the Apple Watch Series 6. The first must-have accessory on my list is the Logitech Combo Touch, and it's really my go-to recommendation, whether you find yourself working from a coffee shop or you find yourself on the couch. Now, I'm gonna put a link right here on the card above. It's this side or that side. They change it on me all the time. But really, the short of it is, this keyboard case is fantastic. The Combo Touch offers the best of both worlds. It has an excellent typing experience that's really made possible by the scissor switch keys. They are backlit, they're well spaced, and there is an all glass trackpad and that experience, it rivals Apple's own Magic Keyboard. Now you also get iOS function keys, drop protection, in addition that works with both the seventh generation iPad, you know, the one from 2019, in addition to the latest version of the 10.2 inch iPad. By the way, you can find links to all the products I talk about in the video description below if you wanna pick up something for yourself. One of the great features for the Logic Combo Touch is that the case can be separated from the keyboard, allowing the case to be used kind of in a laid back consumption uh, context, well, maybe when you're watching TV. When you wanna connect the keyboard, the Logic Folio is gonna use a smart dock connector uh, at the bottom of the iPad, and that means that there's no worrying about charging this case separately because it's gonna use your iPad's internal battery. Now, once the case is connected to the keyboard, it's gonna stay shut using a, a strong magnet at the very bottom of the keyboard. Now, along the top of the case, you have somewhere to store your Apple Pencil or even your Logitech Crayon, but I'll get more into that into the crayon in just a few minutes. You still have access to all the ports and speakers, and you can even charge your Apple Pencil while it's in the case, though it still does look ridiculous. The Logitech Combo Touch is a premium product, no doubt, because it does cost $150, but I feel that the company really delivers on the premiumness because the case offers a great feel, great features, with significant drop protection, and you're gonna have that trackpad. Now, some people don't like the fact that here on the bottom, the dock connector where you go ahead and connect the keyboard can get disconnected easily, but I think that's both good and a bad thing. I would say this is gonna be one of your best choices for your iPad if you're looking for an all-in-one integrated solution for keyboard and trackpad coming in at $150. Next up is the Sateki R1 hinge stand, and it retails for $39.95. Now, the stand is available in five different colors, including space gray, which you see here. It's probably the best stand I've come across. Now, I know it's a bit expensive, but you're really getting what you pay for here. The R1 hinge stand has soft touch rubber wherever it's gonna come in contact with your iPad. And I'll tell you, this can sturdily accommodate the 12.9 inch iPad thanks to the width of the base. It's very wide, obviously, and when you put the larger iPad in here, it doesn't kind of you know, needlessly kind of uh, rock around or feel uh, flimsy. Now, I think quite uniquely is that you can go ahead and take this iPad stand and you can lay it flat if you want. So you can go ahead and put it in your bag, bring it to your coffee shop and whatnot, uh, and then use it there. It will articulate in a number of different angles and it does articulate having two inches. Uh, it's just a great stand, offers a lot of utility. Again, I think that's the theme here. This is an older product. I've probably had this for about two years and I'm not, you know, I'm not, uh, recommending accessories to you that are that are brand new that I've only used for a period of time. These are things that I've used for a long period of time. In my opinion, they've been tested as being functional. Now, I don't use this with my iPad today. I use it with my, uh, or tend to use it with my Nintendo Switch when playing games. But this is a, I think, a, a great accessory for the iPad if you want to go ahead and use it for FaceTime, say if you don't get the Logitech Folio case. 
Next, you might need a way to carry the 10.2 inch iPad when you're out and about, you know, whenever the pandemic ends. And that's where the everyday sling from Peak Design is gonna come into play. Now, uh, this is gonna come in three different sizes. There is a three, six, and 10 liter, and this right here is gonna be the six liter. Now I found for my height, which is 5'10", uh, this is gonna be the best size for me. And this fits both the 10.2 inch iPad um, and as well some few accessories. This one here is $99. Now while this appears small, it can fit quite a lot of accessories in here in the six liter version. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and you can see here, you know, this is the, Here's the, there's a uh, back pocket here, there's a deep pocket. Now this does also come with some dividers, which I don't have in here right now, because uh, this, uh, not maybe not as intended to, but it can be used with a camera, if you want to separate the camera body from the lenses. Um, but you have this big kind of open body in here. All right, and then from in here, you have a zipper pocket up top where you can store some additional accessories. Uh, you know, if you want to put keys, memory card for, uh, uh, for camera, uh, in addition to, and that, that'll zip closed. There is a zip pocket here in the front. So I use this when I'm out and about, uh, and uh, it does really offer, again, a lot of utility. Let's put the iPad in here. So here's the 10.2 inch iPad with the Logitech uh, combo touch. And I put that in here, and you see there's still a lot of room. Uh, let's put the, the, uh, the Sateki R1 hinge, and you see here there's still a lot of room, and it's not heavily weighted down, uh, I think this bag would be great for you know, find yourself working from a coffee shop, uh, even, maybe even a day trip, going somewhere, and de or depending on what you were, uh, what you're, what you put in your bag or your backpack, this could be a good everyday carry bag or EDC bag. Now the entire everyday sling is waterproof, uh, and this sling here that goes over your shoulder uh, is adjustable. Uh, there's an adjustable hook. Actually, it's on this side. So this is adjustable, and if you wanted to, you unloosen this or loosen this, and then you pull this sling shut, and then tighten it back up, kind of making it uh, making it more snug. This does fit good. I'd say, you know, I feel confident. This is my Merce. No, 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 don't judge. Now, let me know in the comments below if you're like me and you don't like carrying a bunch of random items in your pocket, but I feel comfortable, you know, walking out of the house with this. Uh, you know, just carrying my wallet, my phone, my AirPods, not necessarily having a lot of things, but I do use this for my iPad Pro 11 inch as well. I get a ton of utility out of this bag. It's high quality, it's water resistant. The company gives it a lifetime guarantee. And you know, for $99, you might think that's expensive, but if something has a lifetime guarantee on it, it really just, to me, underscores how much the company stands behind their product. So $99 is available in three different sizes, three different colors as well. There's gray, black, and like a navy blue. Again, the link will be in the description below if you wanna check that out. Next, the Apple Pencil is a powerful tool that really extends the uh, iPad capability. Unfortunately, it's on the pricey side, coming up upwards of $100. Now, if you're looking for something that gives you a similar functionality, and it's not necessarily so expensive, I would suggest to you the Logitech Crayon. This is a more than suitable replacement offering the same functionality as the Apple Pencil without that charging, <laughs> the, the clumsy charging mechanism, uh, nor the high price tag. This retails for $69 on Amazon, and sometimes you could even get it for 50 bucks. I think that's when I bought it was $50, but this is a great, it will work with any iPad. It doesn't necessarily have to be the iPad 10.2 uh, inch. It doesn't, you, there's no pairing. All you do is charge it up and turn it on. And let's see. There's a little power button right here. You see that little green button, or the little green light? That's when you know it's on, and it'll just work on the iPad. Again, it offers all the same functionality, and uh, it's less expensive, so it's a good deal. From there, if you're serious about gaming on your iPad, I would definitely suggest getting yourself a PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller. This really allows you to be precise and control any of the games that you have there on the iPad that offer controller support, because that's new in iOS 13 last year, and now you have some additional features for controller support as well. Uh, but this really gives you the ability to go ahead and fine tune gaming. Me, I love playing car racing games, and having a controller like this is something that is just optimal for playing games, right? Especially for long periods of time, sitting back, playing games on your iPad, maybe you have your iPad in the stand, like I showed you earlier, the Sateki stand but this is gonna be a, a must have, especially if you are a gamer. But if you're a gamer, you, you maybe you even know that. Now that's gonna wrap up my list of must have accessories for the iPad. I wanna know what you have on your list of accessories for the iPad. What do you take with you on a daily basis? What do you use for your iPad? 
let me know in the comments below. I am Mike. Now make sure you are subscribed to notifications because I have a lot of other videos planned for accessory videos for the iPad Air 4, for the new Apple Watch, in addition, you know, the new Apple Watch, that red one right here, uh, in addition to the new iPhone 12 that it comes out, I think October 13th is gonna be that date. Let me know if you're excited. I am Mike, I'll talk to you in the next one.